Like many of my colleagues, I strongly support reauthorization of the home visiting program. It's had an incredible track record of success improving child and family outcomes for our most vulnerable communities. And earlier this summer, I got to see firsthand how impactful this program can be. Um, the families who choose to participate in the program receive regular home visits from nurses and social workers, often from the same neighborhood, who help to create healthy and supportive home environments for the children and parents alike. Parents like Jessie from my home state of Washington, who struggled with parenting before she got connected with home visiting. Jessie says, quote, home visiting changed my life and helped me break the cycle of poor parenting and verbal abuse, end quote. The results of this program simply cannot be denied. According to the Washington State Home Visiting Coalition, home visiting has been shown to reduce the likelihood of child abuse and neglect by 50% while at the same time reducing domestic violence, addressing postpartum, postpartum depression, improving children's readiness for school, and increasing parents' self-sufficiency and economic well-being. It is precisely the kind of evidence-based model that we know gives us a great return. Unfortunately, there are huge unmet needs for home visiting services across the country. Last year, the program reached more than 1,650 families in my home state with more than 18,000 home visits made, but only one in four eligible families were served by home visiting in 2016, leaving more than 29,000 eligible families in Washington state unserved. That's why I'm so disappointed the legislation we're considering today fails to make the meaningful investments we need to lift more families out of poverty and into the middle class. Now is the time for Congress to be forward looking rather than always mean reactive to ensure that no families are left behind. I'm also disappointed we're considering this bill with only six legislative days left in the House before the home visiting program is set to expire, along with the Children's Health Insurance Program, or CHIP, the Community Health Center Fund, the National Health Services Corps, and so many other programs that are essential for the children and families that we represent. It's unacceptable that so many federal programs are at risk due to congressional inaction. We need to be doing a better job of providing families, states, and healthcare providers the long-term stability they need to be successful. Mr. Chairman, it remains my hope that we can move quickly to reauthorize this evidence-based program this year in a way that addresses the significant unmet needs for home visiting services across the country. Unfortunately, the legislation before us today would take us backward, not forward, and we can do better. Thank you, and I yield back.